everybody. My name is Paul Farabach. I'm the executive chef and owner of Big Jones here on Clark Street in Andersonville. And I'm really excited to be on the dinner party tonight. We're going to make a sampling of our charcuterie items that we do in-house. It's called boucherie in the Cajun tradition. And a sampling of our house pickles also. And so here's our board that we're going to serve on. We're going to start, actually, with our house-made capicola. This is, comes from the collar of a pig. It's dry cured for six weeks, smoked for a couple of days, and you get this really beautiful bright red color. And we, we really like having the fat back attached there. This is tasso, which is a type of ham, and it's a, it's a piece of lean trim that's uh, dry rubbed with spices. It's not a very long cure, only about three to four days. And then it's smoked for two days. So it's very, very smoky, very intensely flavored. It's hard to find this stuff outside of uh, South Louisiana. When we wanted to put it on the menu here at Big Jones, we had to learn how to make it ourselves. And all of these products that you're looking at here come into the restaurant as a whole pig every Wednesday, either from Slagle Family Farm or Gunthorpe Farm. And here we have an andouille. This is a big one. We make 40 to 50 pounds of andouille every week. And this is uh, a very, very coarsely ground sausage, seasoned very heavily with cayenne pepper and garlic. We put them in natural beef casings, which are absolutely essential if you want an authentic andouille. It adds a really nice, grassy, barnyard aroma to the sausage. And you get this great marbling on the inside. This is only smoked for six to eight hours. You get a really powerful, smoky flavor. Blends really well with the garlic and the cayenne and the cure. And then here we have some Boudin Rouge. This stuff is very, very rare these days, but it's a, a blood sausage made in the Cajun tradition. And as I slice into it here, you can see we flecked it with fat back uh, and rice they use as filler. This is related to the French boudin noir, which you find in uh, the north of France. And they usually do theirs with bread. But in South Louisiana, the Cajuns have a lot of rice. They don't necessarily have a lot of bread, at least not in their traditional cooking. But back in the day, when they were more isolated culturally, rice was the starch that they had and what they usually cooked with. So that's flecked with rice. Really, really wonderful. And this here is head cheese. You wouldn't think of uh, doing a Cajun charcuterie sampler without uh, doing head cheese. And this is uh, seasoned with port wine and Calvados. It's very simple. This has got a lot of collagen in it. It's really sticky and uh, really unctuous. It's one of those things that if you like the taste of pork, you can take a little bite of this head cheese and uh, you have a really nice, big, rich mouthful of pork. And then this is a pate we make from the fat back of the pig. This is also seasoned with port wine and Calvados. But uh, the liver is blended with fat back for a milder taste and for a really, really creamy texture. And then we have our selection of pickles over here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna select some, some accoutrements for, for each one of the items. And with uh, the liver pate, my absolute favorite thing with liver is onions. So we have some pickled red onions here. And with the head cheese, we're going to do some of our bread and butter pickles. It's a really nice, it's a very bright and uh, a little bit sweet pickle. And it goes really, really well. Helps cut some of the richness of that pork, but complements it also really well. And between the two of those, arguably the two richest parts of the plate, we're going to put some ramp pickles. With our andouille here, our favorite thing is chow chow. And we make a house, a house made chow chow with cabbage, sweet peppers, there's quite a bit of onion in it. And then we have our tasso here. And here we get a little bit different, but we're gonna have some, uh, some pimento cheese. Really, really nice with tasso. Gives a little rich creaminess to that spicy, pungent flavor you get from the, uh, all the spices. With our Boudin Rouge, I like fruity flavors. We're gonna serve it with some green strawberry pickles. Bet you haven't heard of those before. And the great thing about them is they taste just like strawberries, so they're really fruity, but they're also really tart, which kind of helps cut through. That Boudin Rouge is really rich stuff also. And so now we have our andouille, and we're gonna serve that with pickle lily which is a really nice, sweet green tomato relish. It's actually also really good as a substitute for that nuclear green relish on Chicago-style hot dogs. Okay, so now we have an individual accompaniment for each one of the 
items of charcuterie. We're gonna put a couple of different pickles on there. We've got some okra, and we've got some pencil asparagus, another one of my seasonal favorites, some fiddlehead ferns. So then we have a selection of breads and we make all of our breads in house. We have here some Benny crackers, some home baked abruzzi rye bread, brown bread, and a few sultana raisins to give it a little bit of sweetness. And then this is one of our favorite breads, it's Sally Lunn. It's a really soft, almost cake-like egg bread. Great with everything. I really, really like it with the tasso and with the boudin rouge. So there we have our charcuterie and pickle sampler. And we're really looking forward to serving this tonight.